Hello, it is Matey Max, and today we are back with another video, and as you can see today, we are not going to be doing some normal vanilla Minecraft. Today I'm going to be starting a walkthrough of my Pixel 1 map, Pixel 1 Lustrous Topaz. Right now we are here in the world, and yeah, I've gotten a lot of comments from people, like comments on the channel and then some messages on Discord. A lot of people have been asking for a walkthrough just because they've gotten stuck at various points. So I thought, you know what, may as well just make one now. Got nothing else to do, except I do have other stuff to do, but this is more fun. So yeah, anyways, right here I'm in the lobby of the map and I'm going to go ahead and explain a few things while we're here. So these signs here, they basically show if you're missing stuff, if you're missing a mod, then these will probably be stone, I think. And then over here, if you're missing this, then you don't have the resource pack on. It should pretty much look like this for you when you load up the map, except I'm using the newer Minecraft textures, even though we're in 1.12, so that won't look the same, but the rest of this should pretty much look identical. I'll get to my starter choice in a minute. Uh, let's go through the rules and settings. Just want to clarify a few things I've seen. Render distance at 8+, plus. difficulty easy. You can't have it on peaceful, there's no hunger or anything, so it doesn't really matter, but having it on easy allows for some decorative invisible creepers that I put. They're not like for blowing up, they're for they're charged creepers and they, they make it look cool when we get to a place with charged creepers. I'll point out when we get there, it might even be in this episode. Particles all, enable command blocks if you're on a server, this one's important. Particles you don't really need, but if, if you're too laggy you can turn them off, but it makes it better if you have them on. And then make sure you set the elevator slider to the maximum value in the Pixel 1 config. You can change the key to open the Pixel 1 config in your controls. Right now I've got it set to P, I don't know if that's the default, but basically if you want to do that you go here and then you go into elevator and then yeah you have it all the way up. You don't need it there, you could probably get away with having it around here, but I just keep it all the way because that's the best for me. So um, over here we've got the credits, you can read through this yourself when you play the map. Um, didn't play Pixel 1 Topaz, click here to see a summary. There are a few things in this map, usually in the post game, that depend on knowledge from Pixel 1 Topaz outside of this, but you won't need any knowledge from Pixel 1 Topaz to get through the map, really, even if you don't get this. The story isn't too complicated, and especially if you like talk to all the NPCs and everything, you'll have a good idea as to what's going on. So yeah, Pixelmon Topaz, it's on my Planet Minecraft too if you want to play that. It's Pixelmon 5.1.2, so if you can't find a download for that, then I can't really do anything. Um, a lot of people have tried in Pixelmon Reforged, but custom NPCs, it's a 1.10.2 map, so it, it doesn't really work well. So yeah, anyways, I've got my starter as a Torchic right here. And that is because, in my opinion, it's the most useful starter for the map. Um, the evil team, spoiler alert right here, um, they use a lot of normal type Pokemon, so that fighting type stab is really useful. If you don't want to use Blaziken, you know, to get that fighting type, I'd recommend getting um, a Baneri. It's on one of the early routes. Uh, the Lopunny is really useful, and you can get a Soothe Bell and a Lopunite pretty easily, pretty early in the map. Um, that's good for a fighting type, and there are some other fighting types later on, like Timber is found pretty early. There's some other ones, um, I'll probably point them out when we get to it, but anyways, yeah. And one last thing, this will have spoilers, because I'm going to be walking you through the whole map, hopefully. So, don't just watch this if you want to see what happens, play it yourself if you can. This is just a guide for those who are stuck, a lot of people recommended that I do this, so here we are. Anyways, let's press the button to begin. I'm going to go through this pretty- Alright, so let's go ahead and do normal mode. Easy mode gives you an XP all, and hard mode basically you just have to play with Nuzlocke rules. Pretty simple. Normal mode, you got nothing. So yeah, let's begin our adventure. We're thrown in here, so if trainers ever go missing, just relog. This is a Pixelmon bug. Yeah, that's unfortunately something I can't fix. It has to do with like chunk borders or something, I think. Not entirely sure, but... Yeah, so if we go over here, we can pick a badge case. This is useful because you can store badges. You have to make sure you register it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then I can click badges in my hot bar and they will go in there. So also, there's some coins here. And if we look in these drawers, we can get some evolutionary stones. Here we go. 
There's some cool stuff in here. Fun to read. If we go over here, there's some Oran Berries and a Soda Pop. These two items aren't really useful, so we'll leave them there. If we go in here, there's some more lore-related stuff in here, too. Over here, there's some music discs if you want to play that. More Evolution Stones. I'm just going to kind of run through this first house because there's, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, Tuxedo. I don't really want cosmetics. <laughs> it's just cosmetic. You don't really get anything. I'll take the bandit mask though. Over here we've got some more stuff. This is basically the one thing that connects this map straight from um, Topaz. Basically what this does is, this is the blue text, it's your rival from Topaz. Spoiler. Yeah. I gave you a warning, so yeah. This is the rival from Topaz and it basically just sets the foundation for the Pokemon League of this map. So there's some old running boots here which we'll grab and there's some more stuff which you would probably recognize if you played Topaz. And then through here, you can get through here with an Ender Pearl, and there's some sneaky stuff back there. And there's also a PC here. So, yeah, anyways, that's all for the upper layer. There's nothing on the bed there. You can sleep in the bed to heal your Pokemon, but there is a Pokemon Center in the first town, so it's kind of like, it doesn't really matter. So, anyways, let's go through here, grab a potion. We can go over here. There's nothing in that box. There is an Easter egg right here. If we go outside, there's not anything here and I made sure that you couldn't escape. Yep. So, yeah. And then if we go here, there are some more evolutionary stones. And then I'm going to talk to the NPC last because we want to go through everything. Firestone here. And then right here, there's another Easter egg. Cookies for Life is one of my map testers, so there's a cookie. Yeah, I know. Creative. So yeah, anyways, talk to your mom. They tell you to go out into the world. There's some traders over here. These are for trade evolutions. If you want to get those later in the map, you can come back, do that. There's nothing important in this house. Um, I'll get to this market later, but... Let's start by walking around this village. We're in Frost End Town. It's the starting town for this map. It wasn't in the original Topaz. It's kind of like a new island. So we're in this house, which actually I'm not going to spoil all of the secret stuff, but I'll just say this house is important if you're going to like go super in depth with the story. So there's two rare candies here. That's pretty useful. And then through the store, you can't get through there, but you can get into that room later on the map. So come back later. That's all I'll say, because it's a cool little story easter egg that I don't want to exactly spoil now. Just in case other people play the map and they're like, oh no, uh, spoiled, yeah. So, over here, we've got the Pokemon Center. It's all beat up because it's supposed to be old. Over here, there's a trader. You'll get a shiny Trirantium for a shiny Pidgey. In this house, there is a Move Tutor. That's the way in the first route. We'll go there later. But first, we have to go to the professor. So let's go ahead and head over here. In this chest, you can grab a map. Just shows you the region. I'll keep it, I guess. There's some more stuff here. There's an ender chest. A little sign saying you are here. Kind of pointing to there. Didn't have that much freedom with maps. If we go over here, we can talk to the professor named Professor Aspen. There's also a covered fossil, which you can get. Um, it's in the town with the third gym. You can uncover the fossil, so yeah. So let's talk to the professor. Hello there, welcome to Frost in Town. What's your name? Mady Max. Nice to meet you, Mady Max. Blah, blah, blah. Sure. Okay. So yeah, basically, we have to find the first route, and then we'll get some Pokeballs. So yeah, I definitely recommend doing that. And then up here, once you have HM Cut, you can access this upstairs area and you can't really cheat because there's barrier blocks so that's cool so let's go ahead and head back outside over here in this area you can find some rog and roll and i believe you can find geodude too but it's a rare spawn there's a trader here who will give you an alolan geodude for normal geodude right here there's poke thing relic face you can sell that in the post game i think for a lot of money um, this tunnel, it's just a little thing. If you walk down, it will teleport you back forever and ever. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then if we go over here, I'll go through this real quickly. 
over here you can get an old rod sell some fish and you can also get a prism scale you can get it other ways though but that's one way to get it if you can't find the normal way to get it over here you can get some cosmetics there's my head you can also get a vulpix mask over here you can get some berries those are EV reducing berries over here you can get some mail we're actually gonna need to come back here for a quest and then this is just some adventuring type stuff so anyways let's go ahead and go to the first route let's do a quick little detour over here just to show off this right here we've got Porygon Z for a Metagross cool trade can't get it now oh I can't go there because I put barrier blocks well there we go and then if over here there's that oh there's that that was there okay I thought it was further back so yeah now you've got all the evolution stones just by snooping around the map I tried to reward people for actually looking around because people tend to speed run these maps really quickly and no that's not the tree there you go it's a snowball I don't really want that but yeah so anyways if we go down here we will have found the first route quest complete route explorer so let's go back to Professor Aspen and then we can get the stuff Route 19 is super chilly, right? Haha, <laughs> well, you are ready to begin your adventure. Take this. So yeah, we get some Pokeballs, and then it's just some default text there. So now we can actually go ahead and start. We've got Pokeballs, we've got access to a Pokemon Center with a healer. So yeah, we're ready to go in the first route. And we can actually go ahead and battle some trainers too. Here, we can see first route has Bunnelby, Baneary, Hoot Hoot. There's some Rockruff, Venipede, Mareep. There's an ice rock here for getting Glaceon and stuff too. Although there's a few more later in the map. And there's a trainer there, which is invisible because of that Pixelmon bug that was that I mentioned in the starting house earlier. So yeah, if this ever happens, you can just relog, they'll reappear. Pretty much, yeah. So let's go ahead and kill this Zubat. We might actually lose. There's a chance of that. Cause yeah. We'll see. I'm confused. What? Okay, no, please die. Alright, yeah, just kidding. So now we got some wooden coins. In a few minutes, I think we will go back because there's another quest in the starting town we could do. Yeah, that, this guy is invisible too. Let's go ahead kill him. Yeah, I tried to reward exploration as much as I could in this map, just so that people would, you know, explore. So let's go in here. We want to go up to the second floor and talk to this man here. Who are you? I'm Mady Max, and he wants us to get, what is it? A heart mail. Yeah, so that's what I said earlier at the mail NPC. We need to go back there, so hopefully I've got enough money. Didn't really pay attention. Yeah, we do. So we'll grab the heart mail, and then we just need to go back, give it to them, and then we get some items. It's literally that easy. So here we are. Thank you. Take some items. We get a soothe bell. A leather skirt and an XP share. Woohoo. And I can put on my... Oh, no. That... We're not going to do that today. Alright, so... Over here, it's just a little blockade. You can't go that way. But that would be the route... Or... Bleh, that would be the road that people normally take. Alright, so now we are over here. And I'm actually probably going to catch a Venipede here. Because Whirlipede and Scolipede a pretty useful Pokemon for this map in my opinion. Obviously there's like all Pokemon except like Gen 8 in this map so you can you don't really need to use the Pokemon I'm using to win but I'm choosing Pokemon that I think will do well in this map so yeah I guess keep that in mind. Let's not kill this guy while I'm talking. That would be- oh my gosh holy cow. Did I just live on 1 HP? Alright well sure. Probably should have gone for the Ultra Ball, but this will probably get it. Yeah, okay, I got Venipede. Who is fighting me? Hoot Hoot, get out of here. I couldn't escape, okay. Okay, Hoot Hoot. And my team just got destroyed, that's pretty cool. Alright, so I'm gonna go heal and then we can continue through here. Alright, so anyways, moving on, this person here. Basically, oh, okay. Let's not do that. Hello. Who is fighting me? Bunnelby, go away. But yeah, basically, through here, I'm actually going to put the XP share on you. Um, once you get Rock Smashed from the second gym, you can go ahead and smash that open if you come back. 
let's go ahead and grab this. Oh yeah, Alolan Rattata is here too. Cool. And yeah, you obviously, you're going to get some more storage later on besides your inventory in the under chest. So don't worry if your inventory starts clogging up. There's also Apricorns in this map. In the town with the fourth gem, I believe, you can convert these to Pokeballs. So yeah, it's worth collecting them. You can also get potions there. Alright, let's kill this Ekans. There's also a TM in here that you can get once you get Rock Smash too. Don't know, but it'll be... No, I'm not fighting you today. If you go over here, there's also a rare EV spawn in this patch of grass. That patch of grass too, maybe. And there's also a trader here that trades dearling forms. Yeah. And then also, I'd recommend healing before doing this battle here. But once again... Hi, are you new here? Cool, I'm new here too. Wow, you have a Pokemon, let's battle. Come on, just throw out your Pokemon. Yay, yay, yay. So yeah, I'd recommend healing before this battle if you chose a water type. Because... Your rival in this map, Rival Max, has a Snivy. So let's go ahead and fight this. I didn't actually get Ember yet, so that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Torchic learns Ember by now, so maybe Pexamon did a weird. So yeah, you fight the rival, pretty simple. Over here, that's where you can go in the post game to get a Pokemon won't say who because don't want to completely spoil everything because some people are probably just walk watching this to figure out where to go next don't want to say like oh there's this pokemon legendary here um you can also go here with rock smash that's also another cut area over here you can get timber that's the place i mentioned and over here you can get um alolan vulpix alolan sandshrew togenomaru um alolan meowth too let's see i'm gonna get and a little Vulpix that's not like level zero. I'm probably not gonna evolve it for a while though, just cause oh it broke free. Wow, rude. But yeah, so if you grab the ice stone, you can evolve it pretty much instantly. So that's cool. All right, there we go. We got that. Go, gonna go ahead and put that. No, whoa, Pixelmon, please. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put the XP share on Vulpix. So now we are in Sivaris City. Oh, I don't want an Ice Stone Shard. Get out of here. If you talk to this guy, he will basically tell you about the first thing you're probably going to want to do in this town. It's not required, technically, to um, proceed in the map, but it is suggested because it's like story and you'll get a ton of XP, which is very useful. So first thing we need to do is heal. Now, if we go over here, there is this statue type thing here. These are in several Pokemon centers across the region. Basically, when you push the button, it spawns the Pokemon, and some of these Pokemon can't be found anywhere else, so you're going to make sure you want to catch these if you're trying to complete the decks. Chansey, for example, I think you can find Chansey rarely in other places, but this is the only way to get it early on. I think there's a few ones later on that you can only get from these. Also, we get a Luxury Ball here, which is neat. Um, there's also sometimes Traders and TMs hidden on the upstairs area. There's not here, but be sure to check up there. So, yeah, anyways, like I said, the first thing we're going to want to do in this town is head over to the Savaris Bank. If we see this guy over here, Yar, hello, little child. Please stay away from Team Neopiet. Yeah, we're back, blah, 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 and they're not robbing the bank. Yeah, sure. So, yeah, you're going to want to go through this building here after talking to your rival. There's also a trader here, which will give you an Alolan Grimer. If you use this elevator, hit the space bar. There's some rooms here with some traders. You can explore those on your own, but if we go up here, there's Alex City. Sometimes I'll give you an item, although sometimes custom NPCs doesn't cooperate. And then this is another just Easter egg type room. And then from here, you can go up one more floor to be on the roof. And then you can go down here into the bank. So yeah, we've got our first grunt battle of Team Neo Pirate. We still don't have Ember, and I'm pretty sure I'm, I should have gotten that by now, so I might have to use the Pokemon Editor to fix that. Um, yeah. I'll go ahead and do that in a minute off camera. Because Torchic totally gets Ember by level 8. I'm not crazy. Uh, I'm asleep. That's the... I need to go heal too. Great. 
you get a wooden coin. And then if you go over here, you can complete the quest by talking to the Team Neo Pirate leader. And you get an amulet coin, which is pretty much just useless, because, you know, we use coins in this map and not... Oh, why are you fighting me again? No. But yeah, the amulet coin is pretty much useless. It's kind of just cosmetic. Um, this map uses varied commodities coins right here instead of poke dollars, so you're not really going to get much use out of this except for like the one normal, um, there's a single, um, Pixelmon trader that's like, that uses poke dollars in the post game. So if you are really that desperate, then I guess you could use this, but it, it's not that useful. So yeah, you get some XP and they let you keep the amulet coin. I'm going to throw it out. I don't really care. So yeah, now that we've done that, that's like the first of two important quests for this town that you need to do. I'm just going to go around getting some items. You get X Special Defense here. That might be useful in the later gems. Um, if we go through here, there are some Pokeballs. And this building here, you can get some more cosmetic items, and that is literally it. This is the building where we'll need to go to progress off of this island. As you can see, we're on the outer edge of this island. Um, it's kind of small, so yeah. There's a Pokemon here, too. If you go inside, you can talk to Matt the Wandering Merchant. Get Defense Curl, Snatch and Whipped Dream. Those are evolution items. I'm pretty sure. You get some stuff here. Safeguard and Hidden Power if you want those for whatever reason. The old gem, we will be coming back there later. The Island Explorer, right here. Sorry, but ticket sales have ended. Uh, how can I get a ticket then? Team Union employees are always traveling. Perhaps they have some. That's the big gray building we'll be going to later. Over here, there's a little shop. If you go up here, you can get some items. There's a beach here, which we'll get to later, or like, kind of a beach. It's like, everything's frozen, so not really. Down here, there's just a little decorative building. Another decorative ma mail building, it's the post office. And then over here, we've got the Pixelmon School, which we're going to go ahead and do, because it's a lot of free XP, which is useful. We've got a repel too. So you can talk to this guy. You don't really get anything out of that. Um, yeah, and then there's just a bunch of trainers here. And there's some items here too. I'll go through any of the hidden ones, but yeah, I'm probably going to do pretty much the entire training school off camera because it's nothing new. But if there's any special items, I'll point it out on camera. Here's one thing I want to mention in the Pixmon school. If you have an Ender Pearl and you're really good at throwing them, you can get to a little secret Easter egg area here. Just make sure you have two Ender Pearls so you could like leave. Yeah, that's pretty important. But yeah, I'm basically at the last room of the Pixelmon School right here. Just to grab some loot. And that is pretty much it outside of that. So yeah, we can go ahead and leave the Pixelmon School and move on to the next section of the map. Real quick, let's go ahead and grab this, an Ultra Ball. If we go over here, there's some more stuff. You can also get Pachirisu, Skiddo. A few other things here. Uh, I don't really care about these items. Great ball. There's also another ice rock here. They're pretty much everywhere. And yeah, as you can see, this is the ocean. So yeah, we're gonna have to find another way off this island. And that is through the Team Union HQ type thing over here, like the guy in the Island Explorer building here suggested we do. And if you don't know what the Island Explorer is, then that's okay, because we'll be getting there in a minute. So, anyways, yeah, we need to go into the Team Union. Um, it's not necessarily their HQ, but it's an outpost, I think. And yeah, there we go. There's the decorative charged creepers. It's That's the reason you have to play in easy mode. I know. But it, it looks cool, I think. And here you can also get some steel types, but you can also get these at the Space Center literally, like, three towns from now. So, yeah. 
uh, don't worry if you already got past this part in the map and you realized you wanted a magnemite or whatever, you'll be fine. So if we go over here, there is an ultra ball. Ultra balls are usually mega stones and TMs, so we'll get mud slap. We're getting a bunch of rare candies, you can see, but I'm not going to use it because you're definitely going to want all this rare candy later in the map. By the time you get to the Pokemon League, you're going to need like level 90s and 100s because this map does have a much longer story than most Pokemon games. So like you are going to be like in the level 80s and 90s by the time you reach um, Victory Road, but you're still going to want as many rare candies as possible. So I'd recommend saving those for sure. But anyways, yeah, if we go over here, Secretary, welcome to the Team Unionist Tyrannivus Biological Outpost. Tyrannivus is the name of this island. It's Tyrannivus subregion in the Marvix region. Yeah, I'll clear that up there. How can I access the old gym? That's what you want to say. Oh, that old place. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, basically you just need to go through a little dungeon type thing up here to get forward in the map. If we go here, we can get the red key card. And then in here, hey, are you supposed to be here? Yeah, we go in here, grab the orange key card, and remember, there's a purple door here. I've watched a few YouTubers play this map, and almost everyone I've seen has forgot that this purple door existed. So, this is that. This is actually the last door we're gonna want to open. So, remember the purple door. If you don't watch the next few minutes of the video, just remember this purple door, please. Spectral, you shoot this, you get this, it's the purple key card. You can also get a few ender pearls from there if you don't want to massacre Abra, but we'll come back later in the map to do that. So purple key card. In this purple room you can get a luminous moss, that's that's it. Um and here you can get plus one minun early in the map. That's it. <laughs> but through oh no, and here through this purple room you can actually progress in the story so let's go ahead and talk to you we get the gym key and that's all we need to do here so anyways let me go back over here for a second um where i'm heading to the blue room yeah if you shoot if you wait for the arrow to despawn and shoot the button again there's like a one in nine chance you get an ender pearl and you can use that upstairs to go in here you can throw it through this little gap here. You're also going to need another purple key, so make sure you know that before going through here. Um, also, you can get... Ugh. So once you get through that door, there's some trainers, there's some map easter eggs, there's a Cosmog Poke Loop, but you need Rock Smash to get it. And there are a few more Ender Pearls and an Aksu Poke Gift. So if you want Aksu earlier in the map, you can wait for the arrows to despawn or get lucky. And if you want Cosmog later in the map, there's like a bajillion Cosmog in this map, but that's one way to get it. So yeah, that's pretty much all we can do there for now since I don't want to wait 20 hours to get Ender Pearls. So yeah, we go over here, talk to this person again, we'll get some XP. A lot of people forget to do that, but yeah, the quest will stay in your quest log forever if you don't talk to them again. It doesn't mean anything, it won't like stop you from moving on, but it'll probably annoy people that don't like stuff in their quests. No, Rattata. Rattata. Alright, so let's go through here. Put this down. We're in the old gym. It's a poison type gym, but as you can see, it's a bit run down and entirely abandoned. So, um, yeah, don't worry. You'll get to battle this gym leader later in the map, just not here. Just because, like, we're level 12. What are we going to do? Um, See, so yeah, I talk to them blah blah blah, talk to them again, and we get the stuff needed to move on in the map. And I even put a sign there because people forget to double click sometimes. If you didn't get a ticket, click the NPC again. Yeah. So, yeah. Even though this is, this is why, 
So yeah, this is why the Planet Minecraft page says eight and a half gems, because yes, this is a full gem building, but you don't get to actually battle the gym leader until like much later in the map, this gym leader that we just talked to here. So yeah, that's eight and a half gems. There's eight more full gems after this though. What do you want, Rattata? Leave me alone. I just want to go heal my Pokemon. Okay, that was fun. Okay, so you're going to want to go over here next. As you can see, you can get Sfeel here. Once you get Rock Smash, you can also go through into here. There's a guy that sells a few Mega Stones and a few Z Crystals that you might want. I don't know if you want them. You might. Um, if you go through here, there is a trainer, which I'm going to go ahead and fight because we're going to want as much XP as possible, especially for the first gem, which is a bug type gem, which is one of the reasons we chose Torchic too. But any fire type could do the job of killing bug types. So yeah, we'll go ahead and kill this guy too. Venipede is level eight. Um, Over here, that small boat there has nothing interesting. This boat here, you can talk to the guy. If you played Topaz, you'll understand what he says, but if you didn't play Topaz, then you won't. It's kind of one of those little Easter egg things that you like actually needed to play the first map to know instead of just seeing the little thing in the starting room. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I think there's a little pokey loot right here. No. No. Okay, I'm... I don't know my own map, apparently. I thought there was Poke loot there. Maybe not. Oh well. So anyways, now that we're here, we can see these two people. They're like half rivals. You can see for yourself. But yeah, so we put down the Island Explorer ticket. We get teleported to this room. It's basically a small recreation of the region. This is the mainland where we're going to be going next. We're going to be going over here. That's where the first gem is. But first we need to go to Gold Town and Silver Town. So this is where our starting town was. And here's the Savara City Port. So we can put this down. We're teleported back here. And now we can put down the Gold Town key. And now we are in Gold Town. And we cannot go back until we get another destination selector key. So we're pretty much trapped on this island for the next while. And over here we've got some trainers. And, oh, they're actually level 6. I thought they were slightly stronger. Um, but they've got a few Pokemon. Like, I think this guy is... I think this guy is like 5. Oh, boy. That was a crit. Thanks for critting me out, Sock. Alright, so after I heal, I'm going to basically just show you um, how to proceed from this island, and then after that I'll show you all the hidden secrets of this island, just so that people that want to know where to go next can just see and then leave the video. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go heal, and then I'll show you what to do. So what you're going to want to do is talk to this Team Pirate Grant here. As you can see, it's Team Pirate, not Team Neo Pirate. So. Um, you can say, what's that in your hand? It's my Island Explorer ticket. Oh, I lost my favorite Pokemon picture, so you need to go find that. And it's actually in one of these houses over here. I think it's this one. Yep, it's here. And then I believe this also... No, okay, I got scammed. Alright, well, it's one of these houses. This one. No, it's here. There we go. There's the Ultra Balls. I knew there was Ultra Balls somewhere. I don't want that. Um... Yeah, so I'll explain everything in a minute. So let's go over here. There we go. And now we get the keys to move on. So that's literally all you have to do here if you want to. But there's a lot more on this island if you look closely. So keep watching and I will explain that. So first, let's head over to the beach over here. If we go through here, turn over here. There is a Slowpoke Tail, which we can sell on the next island for two bronze coins, which is equivalent to a butt-ton of wooden coins, yeah. Um, there's some rocks there that you can smash later. If we go over here, there's a trainer. You, fight me. Tentacool. Probably didn't choose the best Pokemon for this battle. Okay, you're gonna use Acid Spray. Pro move. Oh, I might evolve soon. 
You're probably going to want to evolve your starter by the time of the first gem, which I know sounds weird for a Pokemon game, but this isn't a normal Pokemon game. We can't go over there yet because we don't have Surf. But if we go through here, there's some more stuff to do. So the Island Explorer building is not open on this island, but you can sell some big nuggets, big pearls, nuggets and pearls, which we can actually get in a minute. I'll show you. There's nothing over here, but there are some Pokemon that spawn in these two patches of grass. Like, I think you can get Pinsir and Heracross here. Not entirely sure. And there's also this guy. He's just a normal NPC. He's not important. I know. It hurts to hear that, but yeah. Oh yeah, also, the statue thing for this Pokemon Center is Komala. And this guy here, he'll give you a shiny Starly for Carnivine, which you can catch on the next island. So, if you remember that the Island Explorer exists, you can catch Carnivine on the next island, then go back here and trade for the Starly. So, keep that in mind if you want to use Starly. You can get that later on, but it's shiny and it's basically free. If we go over here, you can get Psyduck, Pikachu, Eevee, a few other things, I think. Um... If we go over here, if you want to get into this house, you can just sit on these, shift, go in here. All that's here is this. It's another Topaz-type Easter egg. And he's also probably one of the last trainers you'll fight in the post-game. Spoiler there. And here's the map of the island we're on right now. That's where we landed, the little soccer field there. That's where we are now, and that's actually where you find Ho-Oh, right here on the top of this tower. You can probably see it. Um, Yeah, you can see it kind of right there. It's not rendering in for me, but yeah, trainer tips. So this is Oriental Forest right here. It's basically Viridian Forest and pretty much every Pokemon game to me, it seems like there's like some sort of like Viridian Forest knockoff. So I thought I may as well put that in here too. And that's the big pearl I was talking about a minute ago. If I put that section in the video, I'm not sure. But yeah, we can go ahead and go sell this back in the town. So let me just double check. No, there's a Pokeball over here, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you get a big nugget too, so yeah, you can get rich if you explore. So yeah, that's pretty much all we can do there now. We can't get Ho-Oh again until Rock Smash, like most things. Most legendaries will need Rock Smash, Surf, or Fly to get. Um, you can get most legendaries, I'd say, during the story of the map. So if you're willing to go out of your way, then you can, yeah get really overpowered pretty much. There's a few more things here real quickly that I want to mention right here. There's a mower. You can use this to get Rotom mower form. That's like electric grass if you get a Rotom. And then if you go through here, you can get a gift. I'm not allowed to get it because I'm the one that put it there. It won't let me take it, but you'll be able to take it. I'm pretty sure it's a Rog and Rolla. I'm um, not entirely sure. So. There's that, and that is pretty much all we can do on this island for- oh, you're a trainer. Yeah, I guess you can fight this guy too. Um, am I gonna level up, or evolve? Yeah. Oh, bye Torchic. Oh, he's just leaving. What? Okay. My camera is being really weird right now. Okay. Uh, can I see this? Oh, oh, yeah, I can see it barely. Oh, double kick. That's nice. Alright. But anyways, yeah. That's pretty much all that there is on this island that we can do right now, and with that I'm going to end off this first episode of the walkthrough. Um, tell me what you want to see in the next episode of this that I didn't do well in this episode. I'm, I haven't really done a walkthrough of stuff before, so yeah, just a lot of people wanted this, so yeah. Oh, yeah, next, uh, next time we'll move on to Silver Town. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a lick and subscribe. And anyways, I'll see you all in the next episode of the walkthrough.